What is going on YouTube and in today's video I am beyond excited to make this video standing behind me are some legendary players let me go ahead and tell you we have x jason former title holder which means he actually won the 1v1 ranked setting and actually got one of the custom titles also he's also known as the former or current top one north american player next to him is Alyssa uh dewick also known as mythic the one and only mythic mythic rogue demon one of the best content creators and competitive content creators in the rogue demon scene next we have vox the first person to actually pass the harsher selection in cosplayer corp and he actually beat multiple competitive players congratulations and last but not least we have a current top five mobile player in the server these are four players who are going to be better than 95 percent of the players that play rogue demon and standing behind me are the noobs so we're going to see how many people in this line in front of me it'll take to beat these four players so we're going to start off with a 4v4 then we'll go to 5v4 then 6v4 7v4 8v4 9v4 if they're able to win what is this we got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve if they could beat 12 people in a 12v4 they're pretty much unstoppable so let's go to get started so the first two people we're going to pick you two Stand right here. Boom. Stand here. Yeah, both you guys can go. There we go. And then, the next one. There we go. Guys, get on top. So, we're going to have them get on top. So, they don't get in the way of our competitors. Yeah. Don't worry, there's. I have a method. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go! So, first round has already begun, and first off, yo, what is this player doing? Let's go ahead and just put them down real quick. I don't know why she just jumped in the fight. <laughs> so off rip, we can see Mythic here is 1v1ing, which it should be a 1v1 for each match, given it's a complete 4v4, which almost guarantees the victory for the pros. There's no way that any of these players are losing. You can actually see on the battlefield. Oh, this guy, Mortal Lover, honest to God, does not look like a noob. He uh, moves stacking. He understands the M1 and M2 version. Yo. Of course, it's a woman who's doing some stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. I'm a troll. <clears throat> what I meant to say is... She needs to stay up. Okay, so first off, we can already see that multiple... Oh, yeah. They, they're, they're smoking him. They're smoking him. So, yeah. The, it's the, the final last guy is the best player on their team. He doesn't seem to be a pro. We can actually tell by the way he's moving around. He's able to block. He's not making any mistakes. Pretty good reaction speed. He's playing defensively properly. Proper usage of evasive. Still getting in some punches in. Mm. But it's just a matter of time before the pros take him out. And the first round is concluded. Not a single death on the side of the pros. So that's going to be a 1-0. Obviously, we would expect them to win that 4v4. So now, let's do a 5v4. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, knocking in our... Our contestants so let me actually set the cooldown to zero three yo Three, two, one, begin! So, off the rip, my prediction is they're going to definitely 100% win this one as well. They know now who's actually the skilled one out of the group, so it's going to be Mustafa. But we can see he's actually just hit his teammate for about 20 damage, which is absolutely toxic. And who are these Bumba Cluts in the background attacking? Oh, that's Mythic. Okay. Mythic again with the 1v1 scene. Now, in this scene, it's still a little bit okay to still do 1v1 matches, but when it gets to the higher numbers, you can't stick on one person. You have to move around attacking multiple enemies, or you are going to eventually be overwhelmed. So, 
currently in the match right now, we can see that all of our people are still above, I believe. Yep, all of our people are still up. Mythic is still 1v1, and he just finished his 1v1. So now it's going to be back to a 4v4, and the fight is now even. Vortex using a massive ability, and he hits it on an enemy opponent. Whoa! Hinokami M2 right there. Does anybody die on that? Nope. All of our pros seem to still be alive. Jason's lagging. Okay, so there's a bug here. So, let's go ahead and... Oh my gosh. Uh... Okay, we're going to help them zero. Rogue Demon. Rogue Demon Skull Emoji in the comment section for that one. So, uh, we basically eliminated the people that were bugged, and either way, we're going to give the round win to the pros just for the simple fact that we eliminated not only the enemy, but the teammate as well. So, to the pros, as there was more alive, and round three will be a 6v4. So, let's get to the 6v4. Uh, let's get Jiro San in there. Let's get you in there. That's four. Uh, sure, why not? So, 6v4. Let's see what happens. Now, in this match, our pros are definitely going to have to uh, start attacking more than one people. It can is no longer a lock-on battle. They're going to have to move around. They can't just do the, the 1v1s. Mythic, again, going with the isolation technique and isolating one of the opponents in order to have a one-on-one -on -one battle, which also is a kind of can be a bad thing. It's a 6v4, which means it's a 5v3. So at least two of our pros or three of our pros are getting 1v2'd right now, or two of our pros. So that could be a little bit problematic. Vortex is absolutely getting literally jumped right now. What is that, a 1v3? Vortex looks like he might be going down at any moment. He's still able to defend himself. He's still standing. On the other side of the battlefield, we can see Redsky's handling a 1v1, Mythic's handling a 1v1, and it's forcing Vortex to have to handle a 1v3. Luckily, he's able to hold it long enough for Jason to finish his 1v1, and now it's back. Redsky just finished his 1v1, so now he's helping finish Mythic's battle. Mm, once he's able to finish that fight with Mythic, it's going to make things a lot better. Oh, Mythic with a terrible Godspeed. That's a clip. 4K. 4K tray. Mm, he's been pinned down. Mm, that's devastating amounts of damage. They're absolutely destroying the Zenitsu right now. Zenitsu, stand up. Fight back. Whoa. We almost got hit with their Goku. The female is now down. He's down. That means one opponent is left on the battlefield and all four pros still remain alive. And it's crazy because not all of these guys are complete noobs. You know what I mean? So next round is going to be a 4v7. That one was definitely a little bit risky there. Vortex almost potentially lost and died. And that could have been really bad. 4. 5. 6. Nope. I didn't pick you. We're going to send down the Muichiro. 4v7, 3, 2, 1, go! Immediately fighting off, so this one is going to be bad. Almost every single one of our pros are going to be fighting a 1v2 minimum, which means if they're not able to get somebody down immediately, which is going to guarantee, because if they defeat one person, it's going to guarantee that half the pros are able to fight these 1v1 matches. Uh, it's looking pretty scary right now. And the next round is going to be truly terrifying if the pros are able to survive this one. Because next round, that means that it's going to be two people for each pro. Mm, this guy just hit his teammate with the Hinokami M2. Oh, one's already down. We already have one of the noobs defeated. That's insane. That was insanely quick. I think that's one of the first... Fastest rounds we've had a, a loss on the uh, on the noob side. Let's see what's going on. But we haven't had an official death on one of the pros yet. Are we going to have an official death on one of the pros? So currently we have a 2v2 going on over there. Mustafa and, Mustafa and the Bacon are currently jumping our Rengoku Hashira. What's he going to do? Oh, he hits that. He hits that. Ooh! 50 damage. Literally 50 damage, so we know Mustafa is going to be low health points. Let's go to the back fight over here. Mythic is currently standing on business, fighting a 1v2, and he has a kill streak on him. 
Nice, nice. He's standing on business. He's able to hold his own. The Rengoku goes in, though. Potentially by the jump mythic. Oh, he turns back to the fight. What is he doing? Lock in, buddy. And he gets... Oh, I thought he was about to get hit with that. Yo, and he saves mythic from the 1v2 situation. We go back over here. Jason gets a kill. It's a 1v2 over here. They're about a 1v3. There's only about three or four noobs left on the battlefield. I think this is going to be a wrap for the pros in a 4v7, which is absolutely amazing because you also look at the leaderboard. You can see some of these players have a lot of executions. These guys aren't complete noobs, guys. These aren't beginner players. These are players that are relatively noob. Like, for example, the people on the pro side would almost never lose a 1v1 to any of these people. That's why we consider them noobs. But they're actually not that bad. They're pretty decent. And the pros finish the last noob. And do we have a casualty? Nope. We have no Jason hiding in the background. I was like, <laughs> casualty? No, so Jason won that. Everybody survived. Zero casualties thus far. Now, this next one is going to be hard, man. This next one's going to be hard. You guys are going to be fighting a 4v8, which means you are guaranteed to have to fight at least two people in your match. And this is going to be where it gets a little bit in the, in the danger waters. Let's get Mustafa down there. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, and eight is where it gets scary. Each person on the pro team, can they win? Three, two, one, go! And also, I want to make this very apparent. Every single person on the pro team is not just pros and 1v1s. Every single person on the pro team has had months, if not years, of experience in Rogue Demon Wars. Which means they are actually conditioned and trained to fight these outnumbered types of situations. They're conditioned and trained to fight teamers. They're conditioned and trained to move around in heavy battles. Jason is calling for help in the chat right now. He's currently being 1v2'd by Hantengu user and the top of the leaderboard with over 10,000 kills Jason is in trouble oh my gosh his teammate got hit with that lucky that is a very lucky save very lucky save oh Samuel's down Samuel's down one of the noobs is already out of the battlefield mm. mythic is currently chasing down a player is this Rengoku player in or out we're just gonna go set him up there and hopefully uh Hopefully there's a difference. So that's two noobs down. He gets blitzed on. It looks like the pros wrap this up faster than usual. The pro players are wrapping this up rather quickly. With a seemingly flawless victory. But Jason almost got in trouble there. The thing that's important is the pros have to keep an eye on every single one of their teammates. Because if their teammate dies to that 1v2, guess what? That's two more players that's going to be jumping the rest of you. So it's super important that they pay attention. Vortex gets a 5 streak. Mythic's almost at a 10 streak. Actually insane. These guys are <laughs> getting farmed. Ooh, Vortex completely blocks and evades the string alt. It seems the Zenitsu and the string user are left. We have zero casualties on the pro team. Mm. And that's the wrap for him. And now we are down to our final noob, Mustafa, who is currently fighting. How long is he going to be able to hold out? He was also the last reigning fighter in the first round. Congratulations on being the last man standing on your team down twice. So that's pretty cool. Mythic breaks the breaks the record. He's now at a 10 streak against the noobs. And Mustafa has de been defeated. The pros have won a 4v8, which means we move up to a 4v9. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely surprising. I thought they were going to have a much harder time. But uh, Jason was in a lot of trouble, man. Jason was in a lot of trouble. So it's super important that the pros keep an eye on all of their teammates. Because if they lose their teammates, they're going to be in some big trouble. So that's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine players are now in the battlefield. 4v9. Where is our boy Mythic? Mythic, get your little eye uh, over here. Three, two, one, go. 
So this is where it gets even trickier than last time. We can see Mustafa standing in the back, not entering the battle. Oh, he goes out and immediately picks. Guarantees they have some team comp here. They have some team comp here. Who came in though? Mythic comes in for the save. Very good, guys. You, or that's Jason who came in for the save. He also has a nine streak. What? They were, Mythic's at 10, so they have some big streaks. What is happening over here? Redski is currently handling a 1v3 right now. 1v4. Redski is in some serious trouble right now. He is currently fighting a 1v4. Back here, we have Mythic getting absolutely body slammed in a 1v2. Oh man, this is looking bad for the pros. If they don't cut down some of these noob numbers, they're going to be severely in trouble. Jason and Vortex should be able to handle this 2v3. But will Redski be able to stall a 1v4 that long? Both Redski and Mythic are in a vicious battle where they are severely outnumbered right now. Are they going to be able to stand on business? Yes or no is the question. Yeah, the pros, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Vortex. Ooh, Vortex. Vortex is falling. Vortex is down. Vortex is down. Three pros remain. I think this is where it all may end. That might be it. A 4v9 might be the peak that they're capable of. I can't see how they're going to win a 3v9 at this point. I cannot see. Are they getting any kills? Jason's trying his best. They're going to have to start single targeting. So the only way the pros can win right now is if they completely run around the battlefield targeting one specific person and take them out one at a time until they can handle a upfront battle. Oh, Jason gets hit with an up-close anger. He's in trouble here. What's he going to do? Ooh, he was able to instant reaction that exploding bud. Oh, but he gets countered with the six-fold, but they are unable to punish him because they're noobs. He uses a joy in two and still is able to hit it. Oh, Jason just got hit with the hatred. Oh, Jason is in critical health. Jason is in critical health. He needs a kill immediately. He needs health immediately. He just got hit by an anger. Oh my gosh, and he just missed the six-fold again. Somehow, by the luck of the gods, they weren't able to combo extend. Jason... Jason! Jason! Yo! Is Jason the last man standing on the pro team? Jason is struggling. Jason has to get a back. Jason has to get away. Jason has to figure out what he's going to do. We can tell that he's targeting the red player. And the red player is going to probably have the lowest health. Jason's taking damage though. Jason needs to start recovering his health. He needs to start activating his concentrated breathing. But he can't catch a break with so many players on him at once. What is he going to do? Mythic has fallen to the 1v2. The two players still haven't seemed to notice that Jason is still alive. And Jason has fallen. Jason has fallen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Jason in the chat asking for a redo. <laughs> Do we redo? Do we redo? Let me know in the chat. Yes or no in the chat. <laughs> Let us all go Thunder. Alright, we'll do one more round. Pros line up. Pros line up. Noobs get on the... Uh, get up. Noobs get up. Get up. All right, we're going to do a final round, man. That was <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get our nine noobs in the battlefield. Six players in the battle. Seven. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I trolled her. <laughs> What's up? Tags. Don't care. Didn't ask, buddy. Get ready to fight. Back. Back. All right. Three, two, one. This is an official rematch, 4v9. Are the pros gonna make a difference here is the question. If they lose again, that is a guaranteed defeat. 
We might do a future video with potentially even better pro players. Well, I'm not sure we could get better for, you know, we still, we got hit Jason and then Mythic, Vortex. Definitely some demons in here. Oh, they need to be a win. So first off, I can see currently right now Mythic is handling a 1v2. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, Mythic just got hit by a Hatred, bro. Already stat suit in the battle, that is not good. Over here, we can see Jason getting some combos in. But all of our pros are fighting at least two people right now. That's not really good. Every single one of our pros are currently in a outnumbered battle. Let's actually go cinematic mode. Oh, they got one out, so Mustafa's out. A noob is fighting a noob, he said. Maybe he doesn't know what's going on. That's why we call him noobs. So over here on this side, we can see... Oh, Shadow Fox is down. I honestly think the pros might be able to win this. Think about it. They were able to win two rounds ago fairly easily. So if they're able to cut down two people, they're pretty much assured the victory. Oh, Jason's taking some damage. They got another one down. He's trying to save his teammate. Is he going to be able to save his teammate? Whoa, Wesky's down! Wesky's down. One of their teammates is going to get back up. Are they going to be able to grip their teammate? They have one person down. They're not noticing it. Oh, Vortex is able to save Wesky, but is he going to kill the red dude? The red dude is still alive. Oh, Vortex using tech. But he gets put back down. Oh. Vesky's been finished. Vortex is remaining, but he's taking heavy damage. Vortex is down too. Another kill confirmed by Jason. Well, that's Mythic right there. We have two pros left on the battlefield. And we have one, two, three, four noobs, it looks like. Are they going to be able to win this 2v4? Oh, they got one noob down. Are they going to be able to confirm the grip, though? They're going for the grip. Oh, Mythic just took some devastating damage. Oh. Red man is still alive. Jason misses the sixfold to confirm the kill. Banana man is down. What is Haiti doing? I'm just gonna watch, he said. Somebody tell him to fight. What are you talking about, watch? Are you stupid? <laughs> Clearly right now, it is a 2v2 fight. Whoa! Mythic gets dropped! Oh my gosh! It is a 1v2! What is this guy doing? What is Haiti doing? <clears throat> Somebody tell this moron to get in the fight. Is Jason going to be able to win this 1v2? Jason, former known as top one North America. The best player the North American region has to offer. He should be able to handle this 1v2. Elijah uses his ultimate meaning he's at least 50 health points Jason comes to a safe gets to a safe position to avoid any damage His teammate Haiti is just continuing to move around like an idiot. Oh He goes in though. Oh, but the discharge works effectively on both Instantly uses the six the thunderclap six for combination because he predicted the instant use of the evasive is Jason going to be able to stand on business right now? Oh, he's successfully able to pin down the player who doesn't have his evasive. Beautiful execution of the combo. And he's killed. There's no way Elijah's going to be able to win this 1v1 right now against Jason, formerly known as the top one NA. Especially since he got some health back. I think this is going to be wraps. I think the pros are definitely going to be able to win here. But next round is going to be even more devastating considering they're going to have to fight 10 opponents this time, meaning there's going to be two to three people on every... E two pros are going to have to get at least 1v3'd, and the rest are guaranteed to get 1v2'd. I don't think they're going to be able to win that, especially with the difficulty in this 4v9. The pros have definitely severely struggled with the 4v9 as they lost the previous match, and there's only two people left in the 4v9. It was actually three, two noobs, one pro. So, Elijah misses the ultimate, gets pinned down, 
super quick reaction speed and that is a wraps for the pro team able to survive the 1v4 one or uh, 4v9 That is six, seven, eight. Oh, he wants to be. Oh my gosh, look what I just did. Yo, chat, I need help. There we go. I was like, I was like, yo, how do I turn this off? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I almost banned the dude blocking. It was annoying me. All right, so let's go ahead and do a head count. Three, six, nine, ten. Four v ten. There's no way. I, I predict the pros are gonna not gonna be able to win this. Three, two, one, go. Fight takes off immediately. Let's go ahead and get ourselves into camera mode and see what's happening on the battlefield here. Mm. So it seems Jason is getting hard targeted and he's taking massive amount of damages, but the, the ultimate by the luck of the gods misses Jason. Jason evades having to take 40 damage. Oh, but he makes a mistake. Jason! Jason is taking heavy damage. He's at least 20 health right now. He is incredibly low. Critical condition. The girl just boxed up her teammate a little bit right there. Let's get a top viewpoint of what's happening over the battlefield. Wow. Right now, it's currently a cluster F. Cluster F word. Cluster freak. So you can't really tell what's exactly going on here. We can see Redskies is down. Redski has been dying back to back and first. Vortex is trying to save him. Oh, but the enemy has him. The enemy is running to confirm the grip. Oh my gosh, Vortex sold with the save. Redski's down. Vortex is trying to survive a 1v6 right now. That is not looking good. But the 1v6 is actually a good thing because that means that there are two pros that are having to 2v or 1v2 each. And if they're able to win that 1v2, then that makes it a 3v6 and that could actually help them win. Hmm. Mythic taking some damage here. He has to watch out for that Rengoku ult that just barely missed him. Vortex is running for his absolute life right now. It's about six, seven players are currently chasing him down. Why are they targeting him? Jason's down. We didn't even see the defeat of Jason. Only two players remain on the pro side. Mythic is taking massive damage right now. He is in big trouble. Big trouble and he's down mythic is down and been executed and the final player left alive is vortex how long will vortex last that's the only question that's left how long until he reaches the inevitable where he is no longer able to survive the constant barrage and he's down as well that was a vicious defeat and as you can see here that is going to be the limitation of the pro players here that is the peak that they are capable of a 4v10 they were able to stand on business with the 4v9 which means they're almost all capable where well, they're actually all capable of winning 1v2s against these players that's insane and that wraps it up honestly let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments let me know what you guys want to see next video and let me know if you guys thought this video was a banger man peace